Hello and welcome to the second episode of Nicobara. Jacula and Vanilla. So, we stopped last time, so I guess we'll continue with chapter one. I still can't get a hold of her. Were the guests over today? When I checked the clock, it was past 10 o'clock already. Since then, I tried calling Shigure several times, but I couldn't get through to her. And just like that, it had already gotten this late. I've never gone this long without hearing from Shigure. I really didn't understand my family's schedule out at all. What? Bath together! What? Wait. I'm sorry. You haven't even grown that much. What are you talking about? Yes, you obviously have. Vanilla, you're the one changing the subject. In any case, don't worry about the bath. You two need to get ready to go home. Yes. Why home? It's much more fun here. Oh, thank you, Vanilla! Stuffing in ignorance, you two. Cut that out. The two of them looked my way, about to distract me again. Since Shigure isn't picking up, I'll take you to home. So, go get ready to leave. No. Jocula and Vanilla turned away from me and cast their gazes townwards, returning home on the same day I had moved out. Seemed to be such a stupid idea that I did hesitate a bit. There was no other way, nor was the time for excuses. I looked at Jocula and Vanilla as they hung their heads in silence and continued on. Listen up, you two. I'm going to open my bakery. I've got no one to rely on, so I don't know how many things will turn out. How things will turn out. What the fuck? With all that's going on, I don't know if I can take care of you two. Get it? I mean, it's already going to be difficult enough just looking after myself. What no? It was quiet. It was a quiet voice I could barely hear. Chocolate said something with her head down. Hmm? What did you say? I came closer and asked her to repeat herself. Yeah, oh shit! No! Don't hate me! Ah! Oh wait, hey Shakula! Please don't hate me! <laughs> ah, wait, stop! Vanilla, why are you running away too? It's dangerous, so stop running around. If you fall, you'll get hurt. Maybe so is so in Chocolate's case, but aren't you bad in, with physical activity? Come on, I've got you now, Chocolate. <laughs> What's going on there? Wait to see it. I want to see that. I I'm not. It's because you two are running around. Hey, uh, stop it! You're still going to run? Gee, I've got you, Vanilla. Oh! 
Ah, chocolate, stop, really stop. Ah, chocolate. Like I said, stop running. The two of them didn't like, didn't listen to a word I said, as they continued to mess with me. And that was how the first night went. I thought we were going to have a bath together. For now, I'll let you stay, but only for tonight. I don't have guests, bed or futons, okay? While all that was happening, 11 o'clock became midnight. Even if I took them home, everybody was sure to be asleep by now. The one glimmer of hope I had that Chigure would call me back didn't happen. So I decided that taking them home tomorrow was my first priority. <laughs> I like that! Cleverly, they had been brought pajamas. They had even brought pajamas. Just how much planning went into their schemes anyway? Really, if you two sleep there, where will I? No, I want to lay in the middle. But I want to be the middle one. Don't get ahead of yourself, you two. A single bed for three people is too crowded. No, don't. I watched them. T Where did they go? What are they doing down there? I watched the two of them lie down and curl up on the floor of an empty room without even curtains. That's way too pitiful of a sight to be called praiseworthy. <laughs> That's something only strange people would say. Where did these cat girls get this information from anyways? Well, they've probably read a lot of books and watched TV in Shigeru's room. Shakula isn't good with kanji characters, so she only reads picture books though. You don't have to sleep here. You could come in my bed. Ah, whatever. You two go sleep in my bed. Yeah, I still get. It still gets pretty cold at night in April after all. I'm going to sleep on the sofa in the living room. The sofa can fit one person. There's air conditioning in there, if I need it. No. Wait. Doesn't work that well in this outfit. I will. I'm fine with that as well. They moved quickly towards me like lions catching the prey. I placed my hands on their heads and spoke in a clear and stern voice. Listen up. I will sleep on the sofa. And you two will sleep in my bed. Those are your master's orders. Understood. No, oh, don't look at me like that. Oh, don't be sad. I said it like that deliberately. The two of them looked as if they wanted to say something, but I hesitated. They lowered their hat, their hats, apologetically. No, chocolate, manila. They mustered out. They looked like they were going to the verge of tears. On the verge of tears. But the obedience had the exact opposite of the effect I expected. It filled me with guilt. I felt a prickling sensation in my chest. That pain left me as a sighted and, and rubbed the two of them on the head. Come on, get going. Hi. 
No. Good night. If anything happens, call me right away. I gently rub the heads of the two desprited cat girls once more. See you two in the morning. With that said, I turned the lights off in the room. What is it? Aww. Her vanishing voice echoed slightly in the darkened room. The pain in my heart from before became even sharper. I saw the pain and replied cheerfully. It's okay, if it's just for one night, don't worry about it. Now then, go to sleep. I really shouldn't act on my emotions, huh? I laid down on the sofa. I sat while staring at the ceiling. If I gave in to my emotions, the result would just lead to more sadness. If I used kind or hopeful words, they would all end up as lies. It's pretty uncool of me to be so passive like this. While I continued to pile on in insults and make excuses for my actions, oh, I closed my eyes and waited for sleep to take over. Chocolate was only a blanket. Yes. There was a bird. Oh, the shigure. No, don't get them. Was what she told me when. I finally was able to get in touch with her. Without any margin of negotiation space, I was struck down. But Chigure, even if you say that I don't think chocolate and vanilla will... Don't make it sound like it's a daily ritual or something. In any case... Ah, wait, Shigure! Yep, that was Shigure. Seriously? As, there is, as the ruthless electronic bass of the drops phone, I heard I stared at my cell phone. And here I thought that I could sort all it out if I could just talk to Shigure. I could do that. <laughs> the cat girls in question were happily uh, stuffing themselves with sandwiches. These sandwiches, incidentally, contain tomato, cheese, and lettuce. With an over easy fried egg tucked inside of all that, it was a simple meal. Breakfast was pretty much like this. You two are definitely going home today, okay? Of course it is. What kind of fun? Wait, what? Stop with the delib deliberately misleading words. Did you see that chest? Chest. Chest. I sighted at the happy go lucky mindset. I took the opportunity to fill the empty glasses with milk. The eating habits of cat girls were pretty much the same as those of humans, so the part was straightforward. Of course, what they liked and disliked depended on each individual cat girl. In the end, I wasn't able to get everything put away yesterday. Today, I really do have to start getting ready for the bakery's opening too. That's why I don't have time to relax and play with you two. 
Be good girls and go home. I said that to them with a sandwich in my hand. No. She puts the sandwich down on her plate. And just like yesterday, she looked at me with upturned eyes. Yeah, it's a problem. I answered her clearly. Why the sad music? Oh shit, I clicked away. Sorry. Her shoulders dropped no more than before. The ears which sat atop her head drooped downward, downheartedly too. No. Unable to make fun of anything, Vanilla could only look on with concern. Where did you go? The pain from last night prickled at my heart again. I tilted the already cool coffee cup as my emotions stalled and impended by my judgment. What? And I want to be with Chocula! Her usually always perky ears were dropping. Chocula was speaking clearly under her own vol voltation. Vol what? Vanilla's usually blank expression did not change. However, she showed me her strong determination. I don't remember Chocolate and Vanilla ever being this disobedient. That thought stayed in my in the back of my mind. At the back of my mind. Whatever. But if I was going to be swayed at by that, then I wouldn't have said this. That understood? Hmm? Who is that? Is it Shigure? Is it? Is it? ご注文ありがとうございます。ロイヤルウッドです。お注文いただきましたティーセットの配達にお伺いしました。では、こちらお店の中に運んじゃいますね。I smiled brightly and brought out the invoice along with the pen. Okay, let's see. I looked over the sale invoice I received uh, once more. Dot 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 dot. Somehow, this doesn't look like what I ordered. No, the stuff I ordered is in here too, but... I looked over at the pile of boxes inside the bakery. Inside of my tiny bakery was a mountain of boxes. A mountain! It was as if the inside of the bakery had become completely made of boxes. As you can see, we don't need this much tableware inside the bakery. Okay. Well, actually, we wouldn't say no to free stuff. Accept this order? Huh? From all this? The mountain of cardboard boxes towered over everything. I was at the loss of words. Every box was equal size. I wouldn't know what was inside each of them without opening them up. On top of that, looking at the sales invoice, I could see that they all contained expensive tea, expensive tea sets and tableware. And if I accepted it all, it would be a lot of work to deal with all the new items. Um, there's still things that I need doing in advance of my bakery's opening, so I don't mind accepting these. But it's going to take a while to deal with all of this. Look, 
You don't need to put all the pressure on me. From looks of it, it would take two hours or more. But to have it re-delivered would take double the effort too. Um. Oh, hey! Hey, you two! Stop staring at me! That's right, I have a lifeline. You too. Ah, I'm exhausted. I glanced at the table where we had finished organizing. Lowered myself into a chair and relaxed my shoulders. Hey, chocolate. Oh, did you see that? Whoop, 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 whoop. Bounce, bounce. Okay. Thanks, Chocola. Don't mind if I do. I downed the cold tea in one gulp. Somehow, somehow or another, the light meal table had arrived. Soon, I really had to get the bakery ready for its opening. I did say I needed any help I could find. And I really did need help this time. Hmm. You will be praised. I could sense the praise me aura coming from Chocola. <laughs> she had a wide smile on her face and was in a ready stand in a ready stance to receive my approval. Thanks. I couldn't have done it without you two. Wait, when I'll just watch. Well, I guess it is. Of course. Hey, you two are getting a bit too close. Can't be close enough. The lean dot forward towards me for uh, for emphasis. It is true that without you two around, this would have been a real problem. But that's a different issue than the one from before. You two have to go back home. Besides, it's not like I could ask you two to work for me or anything, okay? Of course, why not? Aww, she said again. Her shoulders dropped along with her ears and tail. The enthusiasm she showed Ollie had completely disappeared. She sighed deeply and looked dis disheartened. Um. Oopsie. She trekked up to the second floor, still dejected. Chocolate isn't an idiot. I knew she was pushing herself to be bright and full of energy. But even so, this wasn't something I was going to easily change my mind about. It was all the more with how much she cared for me. What about you, Vanilla? No! No, 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 no. You're very nice, Kekos. She spoke quietly in her usual way. Vanilla to the head as she asked that question. You two aren't cat, bad cat girls. And that's why I can't have you stay here. It's because you two are good cat girls that I can't allow it. I don't understand it either. She blinked as she took in my words. It was almost as, she, as if she was trying to peer inside my heart. She stared directly at me, long and hard. You know what's long and hard? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Vanilla. With those words, 
she went upstairs. The sound of her small footsteps slowly disappeared and before long I couldn't hear them anymore. Humans are hard to understand, huh? Inside a bakery now devoid of anything but myself. I repeated those words she had just said to me. Now that I think about it, that's a pretty inconsistent way of thinking, isn't it? Cats do not understand that. And with that said, I think it's about time to end the episode. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like or subscribe so you won't miss any other episodes. And um, check out my other videos from Dragon Ball Xenoverse, Borderlands and Material Energy Hypercubed. Yes. Uh, that's it. See you next time.